Are you ready to lose those extra pounds? Yes. And you want to use a heart rate monitor, right? Yep. You don't know how to use one, though, do you? Not a clue. Why, it's not that hard. How's about I show you? Gosh, that'd be great. Well, let's get started. The heart rate monitor has a digital display and five easy to use buttons. First, there's the set button, which is used to initiate the setting process or perhaps save changes and exit set setting process. Second, there's the recall button, which is used to move to the next digit or setting group that you wish to adjust. And then there's the indiglow button, to light up the display for when it gets dark out. After that, we have the recover slash date button, which can be used to decrease the item that you wish to set. And lastly, there's the on-off button, which sets the device from clock to heart rate monitor. Here's where you make the heart rate monitor work just for you. First, press the on-off button to set it to heart rate monitor. Once there, hold down the set button until the words hold to set flash across the screen. It could take a sec. After that, three numbers should appear on the screen next to an arrow pointing down. This is where you set the minimum target zone for your heart rate. Simply press the on-off button to increase the number, or the recover slash date button to decrease the number. Once done with the first number, press the recall button to toggle over to the next number and do the same thing. Once done with all three numbers, press the recall button to move on to the next screen. Three new numbers should now appear next to an arrow pointing up. This is where you set the maximum target rate goals. Once again, press the on off button or the recover slash date button to increase or decrease these numbers. Once done, move on to the next screen. The screen should now read alert. Here, you press the on off button to turn the alarm on or off. If on, the watch will beep when your heart rate is below your minimum setting or when it is above your maximum setting. Once done, click the recall button again to move on. You're doing great. Just a few more to go. Next is the maximum heart rate value screen, which is used as a reference for displaying your heart rate in terms of percent of maximum. Once done with that, move on to the next screen. This is where you set your weight. This is used to help calculate how many calories you burn during your activity. Once again, adjust the numbers. Lastly, a screen with the word show should appear on the screen. This is where you set the monitor to display either your beats per minute or your percent of maximum. Want to see how well you did while jogging or pumping iron or what have you? Well, that's easy with the heart rate monitor. While at the clock setting, press the recall button. The watch will display a timer showing how long you were active. Press the recall button again, a screen labeled in zone will appear. This shows how much time you spent in between your maximum heart rate goal and your minimum heart rate goal. Next, it will display your average heart rate throughout your activity. After that, it shows your highest heart rate throughout your activity. Lastly, it shows how many calories you burned during the whole activity. It's that easy. Well, that's how you use the Timex heart rate monitor. Try it out and take one step closer to a fitter, more confident, and less disgusting you. Thanks, Wildens. <laughs> that kid'll be all right.